Hey everyone, it's Millie. So I was really hoping the audio quality would improve for this video, but uh, I received the microphone and it's not come with a battery. That's really annoying. I'm not sure if this is going to become like a series on my channel, but on my eBay wedding and prom dress testing video, I had so many comments asking me to do a review of the app Wish because on the app, they sell a load of a random stuff for really, really cheap prices. So you were wondering if they are too good to be true. I ordered a ton of stuff. They're all in these bags. So we're gonna unpackage them and see what we think. Also, this video is not sponsored by Wish or anything like that. So if I don't like their products and they are a scam, I will ruin them. No, I'm joking. I'm not gonna ruin them. I will just give a nice, honest review for you. I just wanna roll it, roll it, roll it with my darling. Literally seems as if I've just got a box of polystyrene like that is so light. <laughs> There's something in there. Okay, we're all good. Can you hear that? Probably not because my microphone is absolutely terrible because there's no batteries on the one that I ordered. <sighs> oh, glasses. Okay, we started off on quite a nice one. <gasps> oh my god, okay, these actually look quite good. How much did I pay for these? These glasses were one pound, apparently down from 28 pounds, but I don't know how accurate that actually is. And you have to pay shipping as well, but shipping was literally a pound. So we're gonna see what these are like. How, how are these one pound? Like, how are they one pounds? That is insane. Okay, they fit okay. Oh my God, my vision's blue. If I'd paid like 50 pounds for these, I'd be a bit like, oh, like, and they're not great but I paid one pound for them. It also depends on what you buy the glasses for, whether you buy them for how they look or practical uses. If it's for practical use to protect you from UV rays, don't buy one pound glasses. They're probably not very effective. You might go blind. They make it look like I've got no eyebrows and it gives me horrendous flashbacks to when I was like 11 and 12 years old when I had no eyebrows and I don't really want to be taken back to that time. Oh no. <laughs> This is a facial hair remover and I bought this because I know it's going to hurt. Oh no, no. Ah! Okay, this is a facial tool. I'm going to tell you the price of it anyway, just in case you're interested in torturing yourself. You know, each to their own. I did buy a few clothes as well, but I don't know which bags they're in. Oh, this region here, do I go for it? Okay, that doesn't hurt too bad. That's actually not too bad. I don't know if it's actually ripping out any hair. It is safe and it doesn't hurt as much as I thought it would. I approve. So okay, I'm doing this to show you how it works. <laughs> close up, so hopefully you can see. Okay, you put it on your face like that, expand it, close it, and then rip. Also, if you look closely, you can see the hairs that are caught on the wires from my face. Okay, this next one is gonna be a clothing item. Why is it two things? By the way, if you are watching and thinking, you know what, I might actually want to see some more videos off this chick, then feel free to subscribe. We've just hit half a million. That is bloody insane. Oh, it's this one. Okay, this is a cropped jumper with little laces down the side. It's gray, as is everything in my wardrobe. And it's got kind of like a really thin fleecy inside, which isn't like extremely soft. It's covered quite well. They've not been stingy on the amount of cotton they've put on the inside. This was five pounds, apparently down from 35 pounds. I can tell you now that this was not ever 35 pounds, just in case that's not obvious. It matches the pictures, you know, it's identical to what the pictures show. So this is a crop jumper and I am so impressed with it. It's not as if the material is really thin either. The material's pretty thick. Um, the side things are fine. It's a pretty good fit as well. I'd use the sizing chart pretty accurate. But this one is a cropped jumper guess what it's in grey this is extremely thin not as good quality as the other one obviously i can't expect it to be great quality this was four pounds but in comparison to the one that was five pounds it's like nowhere near as good okay this is the other jumper i'm trying to get it to fit um again i don't hate it at all the material is a lot thinner on this like literally like a slice of cotton thick the material's ever so slightly scratchy, which would lead to it being very uncomfortable after a while. So I don't know if I'd wear it or not. I think it has a hood though. I, I, th I just think hoods, never mind, hoods aren't for me. I don't think it is a clothing item. If it is, I'm extremely worried that they managed to fit it into a bag of this size. <laughs> oh my God, I absolutely love this. Oh, yes, this is amazing. Okay, I'll tell you what this is. It's, it's not what you think it is. It's really not what you think it is. This is a hairdryer hat. 
connect your hair dryer to this thing here, it blows air into it and it's just really easy. Oh, oh my god, this might actually be the best invention ever. I will keep that and I will use that depending on how effective it is. That was two pounds. Bloody insane. Mom, can I show you something? Hello, subscribing. <laughs> Marvellous, what do you keep in this? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Stop thinking. My hair dryer won't fit in there. It better do. I know what you can do. <sighs> <laughs> now, if... <laughs> These were one pounds. <laughs> Pound well spent. <laughs> I'm moving out as soon as I can. I'm just getting abused in this household. But I promise. <sighs> Acrylic nail almost dissipated again. If you're wearing a dress, maybe a bodycon dress, and you want to accentuate your bodily features, such as the bum, buy one of these. From the front, a normal pair of shorts. From the back, and then you stretch these to go around your bum and it like proper perks it and makes it stick out but I feel like it will do it too much and it will just look ridiculous me trying this on is for a video I hope it looks stupid honestly for entertainment reasons <laughs> I'm dying oh my oh my god what is that <laughs> what is that completely the opposite of what was supposed to happen you couldn't even pay me to go out wearing these I keep forgetting everything that I've ordered I don't even know what this next one is Whoa, this is a lenses for your phone. Okay, this is really cool. I'm quite interested to try this one out. So you put these on your phone and it changes the lens. You like clip it to your phone camera and it changes it. So I've got my mobile device. I'm going to take a picture of this microphone. You're going to have to ignore the stuff on my desk. It's like coke that's dried. <laughs> and then you screw these on, I think. Whoa, no way that actually works. Okay, this is a fisheye one. These were so inexpensive as well. Uh, can you see how it like clips on? Okay, this is a quite a wide one. Okay, this is a fisheye one, but to the extreme. And the fisheye lenses were five pounds. That is so cheap. I'm gonna take a selfie. Watch this be like absolutely disgusting and fail. This is called the confused smile. Okay, it decreases the quality of your picture big time, but yeah, I just can't complain for the price. It works on both sides. Ignore that on my finger as well. It's some like sticky glue from the parcels okay that's a goner that's what it's like when it's on and you can also reverse it to put it on the front camera as well but oh my god i'm so impressed by how good these are honestly oh i got way too excited with the bum enhancers this is another one it is in a different style but <laughs> but not funny and to be fair they don't like to do much like them pads are tiny thought they'd be like massive I'll have to see it when it's on. That was seven pounds, that one. That was more expensive than the other one, like by quite a lot. These are the pump pads now. They're not like extremely padded, but I can see quite a difference with it. Like it's definitely given more shape, but they do feel very artificial. Yeah, like there's a ridge and stuff. <laughs> they feel very artificial. <laughs> that probably looks so weird. Okay, well that's a good style, isn't it? Oh, it's a dress! To be honest, I actually really like the look of this dress. It's kind of like a corset style front, lace up front. But I've got to do a DIY, put the lace through the whole thing. Okay, I, that's too much effort. And just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, I tried this dress on. Now, as you can see, first of all, I failed trying the laces, trying to tie them. Because apparently, I realised as I got to the end, I'm supposed to have two laces at the top here so I can alter them. Well, one of the laces is tied down here, so I gave up. So we've got one little long string of lace here. If I try and make this tighter... Okay, yeah, that's really not helped. On yeah, honestly, I wouldn't really rate this massively. <laughs> It's a smartwatch. That looks like quite a good packaging. I have a feeling that this was the most expensive thing out of them all though. I think it was like £13, I want to say. £9 this was. Listen to this. £9 down from £232. I, I just can't... It's actually on. No way is there a camera on it. Okay, the camera is actually functioning, but I don't know what the quality is like. Yeah, not great by the looks of it. Oh, I've got to insert a memory card. It's got blue. It's got a pedometer, a sleep monitor, Facebook, a browser, Twitter, WhatsApp. 
As far as I'm concerned, like with what I received today, they don't use any misleading thumbnails. So what you see in the thumbnail is actually what you get. Okay, that was my wish haul. I really enjoyed filming this video because everything was just so weird and just so new that I was genuinely interested to see how they all turned out. And overall, I'm actually quite impressed. Wait, before you go, before you click off this video, please just leave a comment letting me know any video ideas you'd want me to do in the future. Maybe more on Wish. Whatever it is, let me know. Have a beautiful day and live life.